We want emergency responders to get where they need to go just as quickly and safely as possible. But in Williamson County, train tracks divide the city of Thrall and sometimes a train can sit parked, blocking the only two roads going north and south. KXAN's Rob Scott takes us to the tracks. About 100 yards south of the tracks, Kevin Massar and construction run fence have to time things just right, despite no set train schedule. We really can't wait. Uh, on a train to be stuck and for us to be stuck on the south side of town. Trains quickly passing through he can live with. It's when the trains park and block the only two north-south crossings in town, things become problematic. And to go on a back road that's uh, barely wide enough for a, a single car to be passing through, it definitely makes our life tough. Thrall Police Chief Whitney Whitworth says he's also had enough, mainly concerned with fire, police, and ambulances unable to get where they need to be. If I happen to be on that side of the tracks and we have some type of law enforcement incident at our school, then I can't get there again without doing the 10 to 12 minute detour. The chief says the Main Street crossing wasn't blocked for an extended period of time on Friday. And in a statement to KXAN, Union Pacific says they don't like blocking the crossings either and have been in touch with Thrall Police. The chief says in the past he sent citations to Union Pacific and has even heard of children crawling under parked trains to get to school on time. Kevin just hopes next time the trains park, they pull east of town. In Thrall, Rob Scott, KXAN News. Now Union Pacific says a large maintenance project on the tracks near Giddings has forced them to reroute trains and has added congestion. They say that construction is expected to wrap up next week and Thrall should be back to normal train crossing levels.